felt so incredibly good. It felt so incredibly good because I really care about students and I have for many, many years. I never thought that would happen to me just because I'm a straight shooter. You know, you tell me something, I'll tell you what I think. And that's usually not a good thing in a teacher. Nobody wants to hear things that aren't positive, right? I mean, if, if you can just say positive things, then, then life is good. But as a teacher, you can't just say, I mean, it's my job to pick on whatever weakness that somebody has, and I'm really good at it. Whoa! A sophomore, and you have that? She's very energetic towards her subject. You can tell she really loves organic chemistry, even though many of the students there don't necessarily have that kind of passion towards it. It's pretty infectious when she really gets into it. She's also a really big advocate for undergraduate research, which is really important. Sensory perception is largely dominated by your hands, so doing lab work by itself is really good for reinforcing knowledge. We're generating scientists, we're generating people that can think and analyze, and, and that's kind of my goal with, with the research stuff. So I love that. That is probably my favorite part to teach. And I also tell them, you've got to find some group partners. You can't study the way you've done before. And that really is another key thing. And why is that so important? You think about it. If you study in a group, what do you do? You don't just sit there and write anything. You talk about stuff. And once you talk about stuff, you have to express it. And that's, you're using the language. And so when you get to the exam, you're using that language and you're better at it.